The big game is less than a week away. Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in this new age of live sports. Joining us with a breakdown of the pressure and excitement of the game is Jarrell King, retired professional football player and owner of Life Fit Wellness Center. Good to see you again. Glad to be here. So big, big game happening. Tell yeah. us, you know, as someone who has played professional football, the pressure at the Super Bowl just has to be tremendous. It is. Um, uh, you know, you, they always talk about the regular season play versus the, you know, the uh, the playoff play. Uh, the teams, you know, there's a lot more intense and a lot more expectations out of the guys. So, you know, everyone's everyone's you know dialed in and waiting to 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 perform for the big game, and especially when you got a team like Tampa Bay where. They uh, didn't have too much of a, of, a, of a hope of actually making it to the Super Bowl. Um, and they get someone like Tom Brady. And now the expectations just fly out of the roof. So it's going to be exciting to see what the defending champs do against the champ of Super Bowls coming up, you know, this next game. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, I have to say that uh, Patrick Mahomes, he had nothing but nice things to say about Tom Brady. But the competition is still there. Oh, yeah. No doubt. There's two 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 great talents in, the, in those two right there. Um, great leaders of the team, um, both at quarterback position. And they both have a different style. So it's going to be awesome watching a, more of a mobile and an improvising quarterback go to play versus a more technician like Tom Brady, he more in the pocket and just right there making plays with his arms. Right. Now, Tom Brady, I mean, he is a seasoned Super Bowl player. So, I mean, he's got to know what he's getting himself into. That's why I referred to him as the champ of the Super Bowls because, I mean, just like LeBron James in basketball, you know, to me it's Tom Brady with football. The, the guy's always in the championship game, whether it's win or lose, he, he's there. Okay, that was going to be my next question. So your money's on the Buccaneers. I'm, I'm riding with the Bucs really because, you know, um, I like the running backs really. And also, I never was really a Tom Brady fan when he was with the Patriots. But for him to do something that he like, the way he's doing it, you know, I, I can respect that. I like that. He went to, like I said earlier, he went to a team like Tampa that didn't have, you know, they had, they had potential. And I feel like him going there was that one thing that just kind of burst all the potential out of the bag for that team. So, um, like I said, you know, with the, with the uh, stakes riding high and everyone kind of here and trying to, trying, to, trying to match his intensity, it's going to be awesome watching a team like Tampa perform in the Super Bowl. I'm looking to see a game where guys are really flying around um, you know, having a good time and just really putting on their best athletic performance. Definitely. And people are looking forward to that outlet, too. You know, they're going to have limited people in the se in the seats. But, of course, millions of people are going to be watching on TV. As a professional football player, mm -hmm. I mean, can you even imagine playing to half a crowd that you're normally used to playing in front of? Not as a professional football player you know more so even high school you know what i'm saying uh some high schools are used to having huge huge crowds but um you know watching the games and, and seeing how it is it would be kind of hard as a player because I, I, one as myself and a lot of other guys you know we love the energy from the crowd yes um, it psychs you up yeah interception or something it's like that energy even when you don't have it sometimes and it's like the crowd's going crazy and they got faith it kind of restores the faith in you as a player so you know, you love having that crowd there, but um, I know they try to do some things with the like certain noises to make more noise during the game, but nothing beats the fans in the stands. It's like a laugh track on a TV sitcom or something, you know. <laughs> you, know you know, it's fake. Right. <laughs> All right, let's tell, let's remind everybody about your time as a professional football player. Who did you play with? So um, after I left the University of South Carolina, I went to the New York Giants and the Seattle Seahawks was my second team that I played for. Um, and when I left the Seahawks, I had a time with the Toronto Argonauts and the Saskatchewan Rough Riders out there in Canada with the CFL. What position did you play? Offensive line, all the way. All the way, all the way. Is, is playing Canadian football different than playing American football? Oh yeah, off the rip, it's, it's it's different. Everything is is pretty much different. Even things that seem a little normal, they got a little different twist to it in some way. Trust me. Interesting. I did not know that. So when we're talking about football, though, I mean, it's kind of like American football. It's we're not talking soccer. We're not talking. Um, what, what's the other one <laughs> that has that oval shaped ball? <laughs> I'm about rugby. Rugby. That's it. 
<laughs> you can see I'm a huge sports fan. But CFL has rugby style rules incorporated within the game so that's what makes it different it's not just American football you know they have certain rules to where we'd be like huh uh, we don't do the certain rules like you know with kickoffs and being three yards off the ball as a defensive lineman whereas in the NFL you're right at the tip of the ball in Canada you have to be three yards off the ball so oh. starting every play is different so it is quite different indeed. Oh, that's fascinating to me. All right. Well, you still look like a professional football player. You're in fantastic <laughs> shape. Uh, that is all attributed to just your philosophy on fitness. Tell us about Life Fit and how things are going over at your gym. Uh, things are going awesome at Life Fit. Uh, Life Fit is still steadily growing. Uh, we also added a few new coaches to the staff. Um, Coach Alex Bonds is doing a terrific job with those guys over there. Um, myself. We've branched out to uh, Ferndale Gym over here at 1919 Bolton Street. That's where the Overdrive Academy program is going on. That's the program for the offense and defensive linemen in the uh, community. So the youth kids, uh, they get to come in uh, along with some of the high school kids that, that are, are involved. And basically the same things we talked about in our previous interviews about developing the guys, that's actually happening now. So things have taken an interesting turn as uh, the program is actually growing larger than I expected, sooner than I expected also. Um, and and I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of the works that we're doing. And uh, right now it, it's, it's going awesome. So I'm trying to keep myself in shape. So I, it's that's great. You know, and we'll put the information up for people who can find out more information about the Overdrive Academy and Life Fit Gym. Uh, with just a couple of seconds left, Jarrell, just real quick, for people out there who are watching this who want to get up off the couch, get fit, do you have a kernel of wisdom, a philosophy to get people moving, get the blood pumping again? Um, I, I got to be honest. I've always loved Nike's saying because it's actually what it is. Just do it. Once you keep on going at it and going at it and going at it, it's going to kind of become more easy, easier for you to kind of get going. You know, um, a lot of folks, they, they say they, they, they want to get started and they never really get started. So we try to offer every service to, to folks, you know, to come into the gym, COVID and everything. We do virtual training a lot. Um, so Coach Asia right now will be the, the answer to everything, I'd say. Uh, Coach Asia does virtual training. She does at-home tra um, training. Um, and also she has a location she can use, multiple locations she can use to train clients. So anyone looking to get started, that's, that's, that's the way to go right now. Um, okay. And you can, you can contact me or, or, or just hit her up yourself on Facebook. That's right. Out of Jarrell's mouth, just do it. And he also says, go Bucks. That's right. We'll see. It's great to see you again, Jarrell. Likewise. Thank you all for having me on again. We're back in two minutes.